Hello and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine 4 you tricky video about Unreal Engine 4 so today's tutorial is about how to adjust uh, pawns animation uh, it doesn't matter what pawn or what uh, whatever amount or number of pawns it doesn't matter uh, for what reason or what is the target you are going to do this but we are going to cover the base steps and how you can achieve uh, such a result so what, what we have now here is a basic third person tutorial nothing fancy being made here it's just the page tutorial the target we're going to do now is wherever we go as, as you know here when you move you can move the camera my target here is whenever I move the camera I force the character to move his head and to start looking around uh, this is not only what you can achieve using this method but you can do all sorts of things like uh, when the character is running by stairs you can well fit and well adjust the, the position of the feet as you can see here it's floating on the ground but you can keep each leg on each stair or there's lots mm -hmm. and lots of things or like for example you can run with the character and let's say Whatever, wherever you go, the character keep looking at this green little floating thing in the environment. Keep looking at it like uh, uh, he wants to go there and, and know whatever. So, anyways, so there are three main steps to do this thing. Step number one is we get the rotation value based on what target of our implementation. So, what are we are going to do? For example, if we are going to target. Uh, for the character to look at this thing we have to get the rotation values that the character should rotate his head in order to see this uh, if you are going to to, ma to make the character looking wherever we move the camera so we have to get the rotation from the camera if we are going to move the pawns to adjust to the stairs we have to get the position for this this is step number one so get the rotation or get the position or get whatever value we are we need to adjust the pawn with the second step is to send this value to the animation blueprint which is the easiest step and the last step is to use this value so let's start with the first step let's open here the third person character and i'll come here to an empty area and because this something have to be updated so i use the event uh, tick and here is an event tick I'll add uh, a variable here and let's call it uh, extra rotation because in my example here uh, the character will be rotating its head so it's a rotator but for example if you are targeting to adjust the feet position on the stairs so you probably need to add a vector for this but anyways I'm happy with this example so I'll take this extra rotation and I'll set its value super easy but what value I'm going to set here well I'm going to get this and uh, I'll get owner for the character movement so the character movement get pawn owner and from get pawn owner get control rotation this is the easiest thing I can do here. So I get control rotation, which means the rotation whenever I do this. Thing. Mm -hmm. Second step, which is storing this value that we got in here into the animation blueprint. So mm -hmm. I'm going to come here to the third person blueprint. Oh, sorry, third person. No, mannequin animation and animation blueprint and I'm going to make a variable with the same animation for sake of simplicity and keep you know when you are working on a big project there is lots of things so keeping things relative between the blueprint and animation blueprint it's coming handy so I add here this one and it's rotator as well I'll save this and we'll come here to the event graph and I will take huge arrow here and say cast to and this is third person character as you can see here so cast to third person character press the last step this one so I do the cast here and if cast is success so I'm going to set this value to the same one here 
so I sit this one to this one this is how I set the value now I get the value I store the value in animation blueprint now what nothing happens because I didn't use the value so I come here to the animation here to the pace of this animation thing and I'm going to break this to let's say local to component and I'm going to call a function or a node that's called uh, modify transform modify bone and then I'm going to component to local and then connect it here this node it looks small but it's really really fantastic and amazing you can do the translation from here so if you got any value for the feed the new position for the feed you can put it here if you are going to translate two feeds so probably you are going to need two nodes of this each are going to uh, control one feed as you can see here is something called boon name which is what boon this node are going to control and then the translation rotation or scale what value are going to control so I'm going to control the rotation based on the rotation of my controller and here if you come here I say okay translation no rotation yes so in rotation I'm going to say in not replace existing add to existing if I'm going to replace I will use the whole value from the, the rotation here but I'm going to add so I'm going to blend sort between sort of between uh, my current pawn animation and whatever value I got from here and let's use word space because when we calculated this value we calculated from word space last thing is what bone are going to control uh, basically I'm going to control my neck or head both working fine so I'm going to save I'm going to, uh, compile and save and here everything's saved so when I move here there is he's rotating his head uh, of course sometimes we can get weird results like this but we can add uh, like uh, limitations for this you can say okay it's like 180 or let's say like uh, 90 or something like this is the maximum minus 90 and you can keep rotating around so I keep looking around with my fancy character is keep looking and it makes animation actually like the controller makes it more fluid and more sensible that you can run and you can look around with your character it makes sense that you are not only moving the camera but the character himself is is rotating his head as well so as I like I said before you can use this trick to do lots of things just remember use the modify here to modify a bone and as you can see here when we choose the head bone it's choose the head here uh, yeah that's how you can use it hope it helps thank you bye